Token macro setup. Now we think of habits. We think of two things. Bad habits and good habits. Good habits like good manners or opening the door for someone. Bad habits like biting your nails or swearing in public often. Now, us as college students often pick up our own bad habits. We often have, say, things, <sighs> we have things that happen to us that make us act a certain way. Now, one of the major things that we do is smoke. Not we as in us, but I mean college students. We smoke, it may be stress related, but it is a very common thing on co college campuses. I see everyone, I see someone smoke at least once a day. Now, 20% of students at college campuses smoke. And it could be for reasons like stress at work, stress with schoolwork, or just a social set setting. But overall, a lot of people smoke in colleges. Another bad habit we often have are poor eating habits. I mean, they don't call it the freshman 15 for nothing. We eat, and it's hard with uh, commons like Finley and Pollock that are buffets where we can eat as much as we want, whenever we want, for a very cheap price. Now, when we study, we stay up late, and we often eat junk food. Junk food is a very big part of college life from what I understand, and fast food as well. McDonald's, Burger King, and Taco Bell are all within walking distance. So when we're studying up late, you know, grab a snack. It's, it's pretty common, but as we're up studying, we cause another bad habit, lack of sleep. Lack of sleep can be one of the most detrimental to the college life. You know, staying up, we're studying, we're doing assignments, we're getting ahead on our work. Stay up till two in the morning, maybe. But then in class, everything you just learned falls out of your head because you have three hours of sleep. A couple days a week with about less than six hours of sleep won't be that bad, but five days a week, six days a week with only four hours of sleep can really take a toll on your grades and take a toll on just your overall well-being. Another, which is also extremely common in colleges, is say unsafe sex. We go to parties, we meet people, you know, we hook up with them. It's, it's not really a big deal at college at this point. But unfortunately, a major problem that we have is lack of protection. It's something that may not cross our mind. We may not be thinking about pregnancy or STD at the, during that night. But <clears throat> unfortunately, in the morning, you probably will be. Um, but to think about it, a box of condoms costs about five dollars, five to seven dollars. Box of Plan B costs fifty dollars. So unless you plan on spending ten times as much as you would have to have the same night, I'm not sure it's a very good idea. Now, with our bad habits, we don't always ca catch ourselves doing them. We may think, oh, well, I'm up till 2 this morning. It's, it's a common thing. Oh, well, I'm hooking up with this girl or guy tonight. Oh, well, I mean, it's not a big deal. You know, I'm eating some junk food. I'm going to the commons and filling up my plate. It's not a bad thing. But in excess, it can be. We really need to think and step back and look at ourselves. And I urge all of you today to also do that. Thank you.